welcome back to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're going to have a go at a Cat 1 IFR approach and we're going to fly it manually. We're going to give it our best shot. Now I haven't managed to do it yet, so let's see what happens to this one. And if you're new here, please feel free to hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. And if you're a returning viewer, then thanks very much for coming back. Remember, as always, hit those likes, smash them as hard as you like. It really helps me a great deal if you can do that. So let's go fly this Cessna and see whether we can make it to the ground in one piece. Let's go. Welcome to Let's Fly VFR. All the next plane 11. Props, jets and much more. All done in real world weather. Let's make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you. Well, welcome back to Let's Fly VFR. And today, we're heading into Adelaide International Airport and we're going to do a Cat 1, or we're going to try, a Cat 1 instrument approach. But I say, we're going to do it manually. So I've just getting this set up a little. The instrumentation, everything's all set up. Um, I'm using everything I've got to try and help me here. So um, we have 7.1 miles to run, all the miles, and we're set up. So I'm going to take the manual, you'll take it back into manual. And uh, let's see how we go. So we have the ILS. I'm going to try and maintain altitude and speed. So I'm going to go first stage flap. Set that up really early. Try and keep it fairly smooth. Just doing it some trims. Get that all trimmed down on our current RPM. And I'm going to set it at 2000 RPM, I think, and just see how that goes. Hopefully. Pretty sure 2000 with first stage flap should give us about 80 odd knots uh, level. So let's, um, okay, we're pretty much on. We've got a bit of a tight turn, which is not a wise thing to do when you're not instrument rated, or maybe even if you are. So that means we're a little bit just to the right, and we need to put this back on 23 because our runway is runway 23 and I'm going to concentrate as best as I possibly can on the instrumentation so I'm going sort of from the artificial horizon to check speed back altitude back over here to a VSI a visual situation in a vertical situation indicator VSI get that right sorry and now I need to overcorrect because I've gone a little bit one way. Very, very difficult, I've got to tell you. Uh, another shout out to Pedro for um, basically challenging me to do this. He said I couldn't do it. Or he said it wasn't done. It was done manual, uh, done by the computer. So we're high, we need to go back left. So I'm going to set up. Okay, and I'm going to use my pitch for descent rate and power for speed. That'll keep Pedro happy. And we need to go, well, if you're looking at this, that says we're pretty much on. We're a little bit to the left. So we want to go back a little right. We want to be very gentle though. And I've got to catch up with the ILS. So we're moving further away from it, so that's there's something not quite gelling there, I think. Uh, that's famous last words from dead pilots, isn't it? My GPS is lying to me. Okay, we're coming back on, and we can come back onto heading. We need to be just a little left of heading still, and descending, because we don't want to be too high. Okay, I'm trying to trim. Okay, we're going to come back now. We've got to just try and preempt a little bit before we get there, because the it's going, the um, ILS is going to get more and more sensitive as we get close to it. So, I'm trying to pitch for about 500 feet per minute, 
and using my power for speed, just trim that down. Trim myself down a little bit, just flying on the trim as much as I can. Coming back a little left, I think. A little bit left of centre. This is where it gets really weird. Once it's all white out and the uh, the sky seems to do weird things, even on the on the computer guides, it's incredibly difficult. You can see why you would do this with um, the computer and your autopilot if you had lives in your hands. Fortunately, we don't. So I'm a little bit right of center, it would seem. That's what the ILS is telling me I need to go back to the left I need to just fly straight to on about that 2-0 heading and I need to, there we go we're back on it already so it's a bit of a tight turn I'll quickly want to get back and maybe just overshoot that a little so we're pretty close just going to go a little bit over there we're at middle marker 1.3 we are 12, 13 1250 feet power off nose down a little just get the attitude down with the heading back we're going to be a little bit right of the runway it would seem be very careful really diving down quickly sort that out gentle okay we're back actually on um on glide slope and I need to start turning a little right so I can come back onto the right heading correct my pitch my descent rate come on runway come into view I can't even look anywhere except these instruments at the moment bloody hell and the way that cloud is just moving around still my heading okay we're just to the left of runway, let's get back, we're 600 feet, we're descending really way, 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 way too quickly. Uh, I'm thinking we failed, I'm thinking we failed. Okay, I'm going to call it a mist. Wow, that's really hard. Climbing out, nose down, nose down, before we stall and die. Okay, I'm going to set up for another go. See you in a minute. Okay, here we are, 3 nautical miles, 3.5 nautical miles from runway 2, 3 threshold, we're in cat 1 conditions, power back, trying to fly it straight, we're a little bit low, boy I'm just trying to trim this mongrel thing up, trim it, trim it, and keep it, can't see much else. Need to come back to the right. Get on heading. Get on descent rate. Power off. Just pitching those down a little. Need to go right. Oh, we've left the clouds and need to fog. That's not a good thing. We're very close. Descent rate's too high, 500 feet to go, middle marker. Okay, little right, just 
right up. Watching the power, watching the descent rate. But it's all over the place, isn't it? Incredibly difficult. Pitch. 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 Come on. Strike. Get back on heading. Would be nice to see a runway. Oh! What's that? Here we go. Jeez. Here we go. Power off, level up. A little bit of a flea. Here we go. Gee. Second time round. Well, I hope you're impressed because I damn well I did not think that was going to happen. Wow. Yep, we're at this right in the intersection. Oh, I'm, I'm busy patting myself on the back right now. There you go, Pedro. <laughs> we did it. But only just, only just. We'd like to be doing that for real. Okay. Hey, thanks, guys. Hey, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit those likes. Please hit the likes, guys. It helps me so, so much. And if you're a returning viewer, well, bash the like button a few times. That'd be really good. And I'll see you again on Let's Fly VFR. Let's make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you.